During uh, times of smoky skies, uh, the most important thing pe people can do is to reduce their exposure to the poor air quality and the smoke. And one of the things that people can do is to stay indoors as much as possible and keep their doors and windows shut, provided that the temperature is comfortable indoors. Yeah, so everybody can be affected by um, poor air quality and, and by the smoke when we have wildfires burning, such as we do now. Um, so some of the early symptoms that people have um, would be general irritation, so irritation of the eyes, of the nose and the throat. People may experience uh, irritated eyes, they may experience uh, a running nose, they may experience a, a scratchy or sore throat. Um, those are early symptoms that people might have um, during poor air quality. Uh, when people should start to um, really be concerned is when they have shortness of breath, um, heart palpitations or chest pain, or they're just really feeling generally unwell, uh, that's a time to seek medical care or ask questions of your healthcare provider. There certainly are groups that are at higher risk um, um, of the health impacts of poor air quality. So certainly the extremes of age, so the very young and, and the very old, um, are at higher risk um, of health impacts, um, as well as people with underlying um, heart and lung conditions um, and those who work outdoors. Um, so certainly for those people, it's important that they have a um, management plan in place. So if they have underlying heart or lung conditions to speak with their physician and make sure they have their medications on hand and ready. Um, and then for other people um, who are also at higher risk, so those who are say um, under housed, um, people um, who may not be able to seek help, uh, certainly the neighbors, neighbors can reach out to one another, um, they can reach out and check in on these people, make sure that they um, are able to be in a space of cleaner air. Inside the home, um, generally, uh, we would expect that the air is uh, cleaner inside the home than outside the home. So keeping uh, doors and windows shut um, to keep the smoke particles outside um, and then um, ensuring that the temperature is comfortable inside. So sometimes we experience um, in the interior region not just poor air quality but also extreme heat. So I want to make sure that the indoor temperature remains comfortable for people if they're keeping their doors um, and windows shut. Um, as well, um, where people can, to use a portable uh, air scrubber with HEPA filtration as well to help uh, clean the air of the particles that are um, coming from the smoke. The main thing is to reduce exposure through keeping, uh, keeping the smoke out. Um, and if people are able to do that through the portable air scrubbers, that's a great, uh, a great way to do it. Um, for sure, keeping their furnace and their air conditioning unit um, serviced on an annual basis and making sure they have the right filters in place. And then for people who aren't able to um, have cleaner air in the home, um, finding spaces outside the home where they can uh, be in a cleaner air environment. So certainly in, um, in the Okanagan and in the interior region, uh, people can go to public spaces to seek cleaner air. So places that are open during the daytime, um, such as libraries, community centers, the shopping mall, generally um, there will be uh, cleaner air inside those facilities, um, as well as reaching out to their municipality or their local government to see what might be available um, in the community for them to seek cleaner air. If people would like more information um, about what to do during uh, times of poor air quality, I highly recommend the Air Quality Health Index, which is on the um, will be found through the BC government website. So the Air Quality Health Index um, does give um, a, is a number rating system um, where people can determine how poor the air quality is and how they should modify their activities accordingly. So um, one thing to consider during times of poor air quality is to reduce time um, exercising outdoors or working outdoors where possible and the air quality health index will um, indicate uh, whether people should modify their activity.